Alright guys, welcome to another commentated game by Rista, and we have a treat for you guys today. I know I said we bring you some higher level play here. So here we have Shine versus Huge Smurf. Now these are both Aether Masters, so you know it's going to be some high level play. But besides that, I think Shine is currently the number one. He's currently got about 1,500-1,600 League points. On this time, I think he was around a thousand. Huge Smurf up there as well, so definitely gonna be some good play here today on Mount Whitney. Let's see what strategies they decide to start off with. It looks like Huge Smurf has the first turn, and it looks like they know each other. They've seen each other a few times. Most of the Aether Masters have, and they played each other, so they know what goes on here. But it does look like that uh, they both start off with this Aurora Star. And that is so smart on this map. It just limits. As you can see, there's a huge offensive side and a huge defensive. I've done a video on this before. And basically, you're trying to push your damage on your offensive and just prevent, prevent, prevent on the defensive side. Which is why you'll often see, you know, those big tanky champions, the Martels that can, or the Harlequins that can sacrifice themselves on the defensive side and either bugs or some long range hit over the edge force the damage early champions on the left hand side but this aurora limits what you can place out forward it really means that you can step forward and hit without having to get in the other aurora's line of sight and you can force so much da uh, just so much positioning control and hit two over from the center in this very blocked off center that normally you have to take a lot of turns to walk over it's just a super smart play. You'll see that a lot in Aether Master, and both of them start off with it as they exchange pleasantries right now. We'll see what Huge Smurf goes for second. Now, the big advantage goes to the player who puts their bug out, bug being the, the most common complement to Aurora, after the defender's out. If the defender moves forward, then bug can zap him twice. If the defender goes somewhere else, bug can move forward and zap without getting hit at all. And either way, you're getting two charges on your bug. If you go after the defender's out, or um, excuse me, if the bug goes before defender's out, then he has nothing to hit right here. And if he moves forward and zaps, if the defender's here, he'll take a lot of damage, and otherwise the defender can just come up and hit him. So generally that bug wants to wait till they know what the defender is. An early defender is most likely to be a three-move champion, somebody that can respond really well. If you're responding late in the order if you've got that late defender after bugs already out then most likely you're gonna have a two move a slow guy somebody who can really defend the square and take a lot of damage and there we see we've got the bug and aurora pairs out and it looks like martel's coming out on this side over here for that defensive side now if bug moves forward there's nowhere he can really survive martel can move forward hit him for three move forward hit him for two and then chase him down anywhere so very smart move so let's see where this aurora is going to go on our first turn a huge smurf deciding to go in the middle such a smart play they can't move forward and hit martel for much it won't do much he'll come back and return just as much damage aurora will come in bug will come in but this controls the entire center there's really nowhere that they can go oh i forgot to mention earlier too look at aurora's range right here and look at this positioning Huge Smurf went three back with Corporal, knowing that Aurora couldn't step up and hit him without being taking the double hit on earlier. So if you only go two back, Aurora can step forward and hit you. So very smart play right there. So now it looks like Shine's going to take some time. This is a very tough move and depends on your playstyle. You can start trading with the enemy of Aurora, but with a high damage, high mobility comp over here that Huge Smurf has, you're just going to take too much damage too quickly and Martel can't really bring himself into the fight fast enough so I doubt he's going to go for those trades. Just going to start with the power up. He's not going to do a big positioning move. He's going to get that ultimate online, get that two damage to the ship in a straight line and one of the champions with seven health that can definitely build up to it. Aurora is well suited to the task. Looks like Huge Smurf knows he doesn't want to start trading with Corporal, but now he can move forward one more because the square two in front of him is covered by his own Aurora. It's a very tight positioning game Huge Smurf is playing here, and he knows Shine can't move forward to get the charge square. It's just too well covered, but nobody can hit him here, and they can only bring four, maybe five to bear next to him. So he walks up and gets that first hit on, starts building up his bug towards that ultimate as Huge Smurf comes in from the other side and has to decide what to do with his bug can't move next to Martel. Martel can put out five and two hits every turn. So what he's going to do is he's going to move off to the side here. That'll allow him to hit the ship directly. Still building up that Aether. 
and they, they're they both going to start building up the ship. Aether, but now Martell's going to whack him for two. And then there's no way Buck can run that safe if he decides to zap. He can double run, but if Martell decides to chase him down, no matter where he goes, he's going to get the three damage in and Bug is going to die. So now, will Huge Smurf start going for the double damage on Bug, seeing if he can get all that in there? No, he's going to rush by it because Martell opened the gate. A lot of times, characters will move forward, get the charge square, and then move back into the gap like Corporal did to prevent the Aurora run by. She's so tanky, has so much range, she can run, attack, run, attack multiple times. And now Huge Murph has gone for that. He's going to start this damage trade early on, knowing that his bug's at a disadvantage, and force Shine to make a call. Is he going to start the damage trade late, or is he going to try and champion clear, or is he going to try and respond to this? And generally, you don't want to fight Aurora versus Aurora. It's a slow trade. They're going to get a lot of damage on your ship. So he goes for the trade in damage. It's now Defender versus Bug, Defender versus Bug, but Martel does better one-on-one -on -one versus in the bug versus corporal who has to rely on crits to really get that damage down so it however huge Murph does have the advantage with the auroras his will hit first huge Smurf does get that high damage down onto bug and bug won't be able to kill him this turn so it does look like corporal will take him down barring any outside influence now if you notice these champions that aurora has high mobility and can come in and kill they're not quite up to enough Aether to start using shells yet, but those lowest ones are only 4 and 5. They can definitely get in there, so it looks like he's got a plan in mind. Let's see how he wants to trade this. He knows he's going to get one more from killing Bug this turn. Bug's not going to go anywhere safe, is he? He's going to run backwards. Is he going to go for the health, or is he going to go for the lucky shot on the Bug? The random number generator is fickle, so he goes for the extra health. He knows he's not going to die. And he doesn't want to start giving extra Aether to Shine in case he does get that crit. The, the trade kills back and forth. So Martel can go and build his ship Aether and continue to bang away on Bug. He's very tanky. The Bug can't kill him in one turn. It does look like Aurora's going to start this damage trade off right away, though. And again, Huge Smurf going to take that damage lead early on. It's going to be up to Shine to make a big play somewhere in this middle to turn the tide because momentum is favoring huge smurf right now however that aether charges uh, this mechanic in the game really helps you come back hard and it looks like they will use the scorching to start making the damage trade in turn order now that is great what that means is that he's going to have no chance to respond before bug goes bug can either hit the ship for four or he can take out the enemy bug And that's going to be a big turning point. That's exactly what he needed now. As Huge Smurf can't play a shell. When you kill enemies in turn order, so they have to spawn every turn, in which case his bug will be next and his bug's going to be dead. That means that you just can't respond with your own shells as much as you want, and you'll be stuck at 10 Aether, gaining Aether that won't do anything. It'll go away, and you'll just start to build this big advantage on the enemy. So what is he going to do, though? Is he going to kill this bug, move up? see if he can survive a little longer in this turn trade is he gonna just start pinging away at the ship is he gonna go backwards is he gonna try and kill this aurora and keep the turn order going now that bug's already gone he doesn't care if this bug dies as much because he'll still have two champions and again it won't be in that two order he could still respond with shells do other things you don't want to kill champions right after they've gone i mean you always want to kill champions but it looks like he's trading quite effectively here, and now he says, even if you kill Bug, it's not that big a loss. I've got my two high health champions ready to go. This Bug knows he's going to be sacrificed, so he goes for the four damage on the ship, and that's going to power a huge smurf up to ten, or nine Aether, excuse me. But, again, turn order killing Shine is going to take out Aurora right now. And just as Huge Smurf had pulled away with a big lead and was about to pull Shine down to two, that return with a buck, he knew he had to deal with Aurora because trading damage in turns meant Huge Smurf was going to deal four before he, uh, Shine dealt four, and the advantage was going to keep on going. So right now, again, there is nothing Huge Smurf can do but spawn. And light him up kills Bug. Bug cannot continue to keep hitting the ship. He's going to have a turn with Martel, but there's enough damage over here to possibly take back out Aurora again and turn this around so there'll only be Martel again. And with only five health left on the ship. 
Yeah, that, that's a definite kill. As, there's got to be some shell Huge Smurfist can pull out here, because if not, this game is over. So what is Martell going to do? What is Huge Smurf going to pull out here? Is there a major exodus that will swing this out? Exodus on Martell would turn the game around. I'm assuming he has to have been packing Get Off My Porch, because otherwise he would have exodus this earlier, though, when he was up at 8. Is he packing some direct damage for Bug to kill Bug? That would at least save his life on Aurora here. No, he moves forward two to the charging square. That means he had nothing that could save his life. No healing, or he just knew the game was over anyways, but you always play it out. And it looks like that Bug's just going to go ahead to get that one shock down. That's going to kill Aurora in turn order when Martell comes up. And Aurora is going to seal this game. In the past, what was it, five turns, Huge Smurf has only had one. Because of that careful positioning, Shine set up all the champions to be low and killed them in order, only allowing that one Bug turn and that one Martell turn. And it's just been super powerful for him. That champion control that he's pulled out, along with the strong trade and the what he used to shell at the perfect time to start out. But it looks like Aurora carrying this game. Shine takes it and uh, it goes even higher in the ranks right here. Be very scared if you meet him there. Huge Smurf 2 played an excellent game as well, and it looks like he was, yeah, just broke 1100 for this one. Normally sitting at, I think, 15 or 1600 as the time of this recording, but there's a way to play a great game, guys. That's a way to definitely control champions, to kill in turn order, and to deal with the trading you can't let the opponent sit in the lead forever. He had to kill the Aurora at some point. So take what you will from that. And uh, be sure to like, subscribe, come back for more, and comment, tell me what you guys want to see, and we'll get you guys more videos. Thanks.